everyone, I'm Danielle Goss and welcome to this edition of your Third Age Health Brief. Fibromyalgia, or chronic muscle pain, is a complex, chronic, and debilitating condition characterized by widespread musculoskeletal stiffness and pain, in conjunction with specific tender points, generalized fatigue, and sleep disturbance. People with this syndrome may also experience gastrointestinal disorders, headaches, trouble concentrating, or psychological symptoms such as anxiety or depression. To an ordinary person, a simple tap on the shoulder seems harmless, but to someone with fibromyalgia, like myself, it can seem like you were slugged with a brick. Although fibromyalgia has only been classified as a syndrome within the last few decades, there are historical indications that a fibromyalgia-like condition was described by Hippocrates, thus making it one of the oldest medical mysteries. Many physicians and other healthcare providers do not believe that fibromyalgia is a real condition or disease simply that it is either a symptom of another disease or a condition that was more mental than physical. I'll be honest, I was one of the skeptics for many years not believing that this funny name syndrome was a real thing. Until I realized that the chronic pain that I was in daily, the fatigue and aches that I assumed every mother and woman in America felt and was just part of getting older, was in fact fibromyalgia. Boy, did I feel ridiculous, especially when I realized that most people did not feel this way. I was abnormal and I was in chronic pain. Talk about removing the plank out of my own eye. It was humbling and devastating. The best way I can explain the pain, it's like the body aches you have when you get the flu, except for fibromyalgia sufferers, it is every day, all day long. You become somewhat immune to the pain, but on bad days when the weather is cold, for example, it is all you can do to get out of bed and trudge on. It is estimated that approximately three to six million Americans have fibromyalgia. The majority of the people with fibromyalgia are women, but the condition can occur in men and children as well. Most cases occur between the ages of 20 to 40, although fibromyalgia can develop at any age. The exact cause of fibromyalgia is unknown, and there has been significant controversy in the medical community about its origin. Currently, there are several theories regarding possible causes of fibromyalgia, including sleep disorders, as sleep researchers have noted that fibromyalgia patients consistently show a disturbance during the stage four delta cycle of sleep, which is considered the deepest and most restorative phase of sleep. Lack of restful sleep may be the cause of the overwhelming fatigue experienced by many fibromyalgia patients, not to mention the constant exhaustion of your nerves frequently firing up those pain signals. Infectious triggers. Some researchers believe that there may be a viral or infectious agent that triggers the onset of fibromyalgia, which then causes a more permanent condition to follow. Or proceeding in incidents of trauma. A high percentage of patients have reported traumatic emotional or physical events, such as an automobile accident or divorce, shortly before the onset of fibromyalgia symptoms. Although it is not believed that the events themselves called fibromyalgia, they may serve as triggers in people who are genetically or otherwise susceptible to developing this syndrome. Biochemical abnormalities in the nervous system. Studies have shown that people with fibromyalgia often have high elevated levels of substance P, a pain neurotransmitter in their spinal fluid. Levels of other neurotransmitters such as serotonin or noepinephrine, or hormones such as cortisol and growth hormone may play a role in fibromyalgia patients. Hence, why antidepressants, which control these hormones, are often prescribed to fibromyalgia patients to help suppress the pain signals being sent to your brain. Researchers continue to explore these and other explanations for the possible causes of fibromyalgia. Currently, there is no cure, but symptoms can be diminished by a combination of pharmacological and pharmaceutical treatments. If you feel you may be experiencing any of these symptoms of this debilitating disease, please contact your physician for a full body workup. Having an understanding of what may be causing your pain may make all the difference in learning to cope and process the changes that come ahead. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Third Age Health Brief. I'm Danielle Goss. Thank you for listening.